By flight, I mean, yes, we may see flying cars. <laughs> Some of the greatest shifts you're going to see is in electrification. We're closer to the Jetsons than we are to the Flintstones. Cars have changed enormously over the last 25 years. I mean, back in 1995, you couldn't get ventilated, massaging seats, adaptive cruise control, or smartphone mirroring. Hell, smartphones didn't even exist back then. Yes, kids, there was a time before the iPhone. We're here with our very first look at the Apple iPhone. I just wish it was a standalone iPod. What's wrong with the phone? You can bet the next quarter century is going to be even more transformative. Now, I'm not sure if cars will have spherical light-up wheels, look like road-going smoking lounges, or feature wacky steering wheels that move all over the place, but technological advancements will revolutionize how we get around. What's the trouble, Gary? Uh-oh, a modern Frankenstein. Of course, nobody really knows what the future holds, but right now I see two things dominating the automotive industry, and that is electrification and autonomy, or self-driving cars. Now, these two technologies promise to change everything. Once people drive electric vehicles, they tend to not look back. And once that starts happening, you know, you're gonna have quiet, efficient, and crazy fun vehicles to drive. Now, even though they do not work for all drivers in every location, electrics are the future, providing instant torque, zero tailpipe emissions, and smooth, nearly silent operation. Now, they have a ton of benefits compared to internal combustion, something that will drive demand in the future. When you include all of the electrification, so mild hybrid, hybrid, plug-in hybrid, uh, fuel cell, EV, by 2030, all of that, that will make up the majority of new car sales. Obviously, 2030 is only 10 years into the future, not 25, but the trend is clear. Electrified vehicles are going to get more and more popular. What percentage of new vehicle sales they'll account for in 2045 is anyone's guess, but I bet it'll be a lot, especially as battery technology advances. Lithium ion is state of the art today, but maybe nickel metal plutonium chemistry or lithium sawdust will revolutionize EVs in 25 years. Who knows? I would absolutely expect some, something next uh, that takes us into, a, into an area where we don't worry about charging time and we don't worry about range. Uh, and I think when that happens, that's where we get the, the hockey stick growth curve of, of electric vehicles and, and really become a mainstream product. Even as the world goes electric, old-fashioned petroleum-burning power plants are far from dead, so don't start writing that obituary just yet. But internal combustion engines are not going away between now and 2050. They will be a significantly reduced uh, percentage of the market, but they're, you'll, still, you'll still be able to buy them. Whether it's a huge diesel engine in an over-the-road truck or a plug-in hybrid powertrain in some family-friendly crossover, internal combustion is expected to remain a viable powertrain source for many years to come. Gas turbine compressor, 31,000 RPM. Curiously, one propulsion system that's unlikely to gain traction is the hydrogen fuel cell. Now, Bob, Colin, and Jeff all seem to agree that this technology is really not going to take off, not at least before 2045. It's funny, in the industry, in, and this has probably been going on for 20 years, we've always joked that hydrogen is, you know, the 10-year-out technology, and it keeps moving 10 years out. So in our forecast, it, it's a very, very small part of the market. It, it, the, where it, it's going to place itself, I wouldn't, it's not even in, like, commercial vehicle, really. It, it is in that medium to heavy-duty truck. That's where you see it's going to have the most demand. Now, nothing against hydrogen fuel cells, but as battery technology continues to improve, fuel cells make less and less sense, especially in personal vehicles. Attention. Hydrogen containment failure. Potential personnel hazard. Turn it back on, man! Okay, aside from alternative propulsion systems, autonomy is another major topic these days. So, in the future, you'll be able to punch a destination into your vehicle and it will just drive you there without you having to lift a finger. I mean, that's the dream, but when that becomes a reality, well, that's debatable. Level five or fully autonomous vehicles is 
kind of like a moonshot. I mean, a lot has to happen in mapping and navigation and, and sensing and uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning, all these things to make that uh, viable for general use. We're all set for auto control. Well done, Firebird 2. You're now under automatic control. Hands off steering. We expect about uh, one in four vehicles being sold in 2035 to be a, an autonomous vehicle. And, and by that, we mean either L4 or L5. So the fully, um, the vehicles that can fully drive themselves. Today, the best we've got is level two plus, which is like Cadillac Super Cruise. Now, don't get me wrong, Super Cruise is super good, but you can't just set it and forget it like you can some other things. Set it and forget it. For many, autonomy is the dream, but even self-driving cars are subject to traffic and other delays, but one different technology could sidestep these problems altogether. Can't forget, can't leave out flying cars. And here's another streamlined marvel on wheels. It only needs a pair of wings to be at home in the sky. You know, and the possibility of a vertical takeoff vehicle that's electrified um, has some possibilities in you know, certain scenarios. Yep, flying cars. As ridiculous as those sound, they could possibly just might be a thing in the next 25 years. I mean, the ability to jump over freeway congestion or fly into remote areas is frankly intriguing. This aircraft takes off from wherever you happen to be, flies directly to where you want to go, and lands there. It doesn't yet, but it might one day. If flying cars ever do become a thing, they better damn well be autonomous. I mean, most drivers can't even use their turn signals properly. How could you ever expect them to handle an aircraft? It looks like a success, but the experts spot a problem with engine number eight. Ooh. So much has changed over the last 25 years, but from electrification to self-driving cars to hydrogen fuel cells, well, maybe not those, but still there is a lot to be excited about in the next 25 years. I mean, we're, we're a long ways away from the Jetsons, but we're closer to the Jetsons than we are to the Flintstones. Hey, one thing before you go, make sure you check out my other recent video. It's all about pickup trucks and SUVs. Have you ever wondered why these vehicles are so incredibly popular these days? Well, this feature explains it all.